guys, welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I figured I would share with you all of my favorite fashion hacks that have saved me in so many situations where I was in a bind and I wanted to share them with you because so many of my friends every time they'd see me do it are either so shocked or surprised and amazed by them and for some of them I figured they were like common knowledge but some I guess people just have never heard of and so I wanted to make this video to share them with you a lot of times these hacks have actually saved me tons of money and alteration costs so if you guys want to find out what they are then do keep on watching but before we get to that if you guys haven't subscribed to the family yet please make sure you do so by hitting that subscribe button down below and the bell sign so that you get notified every time I have videos like this and also do give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more of them. Okay, let's go. The first hack I love to use all the time is when I wear bodysuits. Now the problem with bodysuits is sometimes the bottom, where the buttons are, can have sharp edges that can dig into your skin and make it painful when you sit, walk, or stand. So what I do is I take a panty liner, I remove the adhesive edge, stick the panty liner on the bottom of the bodysuit, and then fold them on both ends. That way, when I wear the bodysuit, I feel no digging, no sharp pains, and I can just live life as usual. Sometimes I buy a necklace, but I just don't know how it's gonna sit perfectly on my clavicle. So if the necklace is too short, I then take a safety pin I have lying around the house, put one end of the safety pin through the chain of the necklace, and then hook the other end of the necklace through the same safety pin, close it, put your hair on top so that no one knows what's happening behind, and voila, you have the perfect length for your favorite necklace. Now a lot of you guys may know this one, but it's definitely worth mentioning. We all have those favorite belts that we love to use, but always have those tongues sticking out when we wear them. Now I have two tricks for this. The first one is to use a thin hair tie in the color of the belt that you're going to be using so that it camouflages when you wear it. Take the end of the belt, loop your hair tie once, twice, or thrice over depending on the size of the belt, and then pull the hair tie down to where you want it to be in accordance to your waist. We can adjust it later on. Now wear the belt as usual, and then take the tongue that's sticking out and loop it through that hair tie. This then acts as an additional fake belt loop where it doesn't actually exist. So then you can adjust it to either go to the front or the back of your waist, and voila, it holds the belt tongue in place. So down, yeah. Another way to keep your belt tongue from sticking out is to use double-sided tape. All you have to do is cut it and adjust it to the size of the belt tongue, stick one end of the double-sided tape to the back of the tongue, peel the double-sided tape off, and then stick it onto your belt. And there you have it, no more belt tongue sticking out. Oh, no. Sometimes we just want to keep the sleeves of our blazers right where we want them to stay, which is usually around the elbows. Unfortunately, not all blazers are made equal, and sometimes the fabric just won't stay up. So I would take any regular hair tie that you have lying around, usually pick the ones that are a little bit looser for your hair, that would sit comfortably around your arm without cutting off circulation. So then take that hair tie, put it around the blazer, and then just pull up the blazer till it's where you want it to be. Make sure that the remaining fabric ruched on top is then folded over the hair tie so that you can't see it as you move around. And voila, there you have it. Instant perfect scrunched up blazer look. This hack is for the zippers that just won't stay up. So I would take any regular thin hair tie that you have lying around, put it through the zipper pull, then take both ends or both hoops together and put it around the button of your pants. That would then keep your zipper pulling up the whole time and then close your pants and wear it as usual. Then if you put your shirt on top of it, absolutely no one will know what's happening underneath. Why you gotta go? Why you gotta this hack is for when you need just a little bit extra space in your pants. Maybe it's the holidays and you overate like me. So again, take a regular hair tie, put it around the button of your pants, then loop the end of the hair tie through the buttonhole 
and then back around to attach to the button. Now that gives you a few extra inches to work around, then just put your t-shirt right on top and you're good to go. This half is for those dresses or tops that you either want to turn into an off-the-shoulder top or are off-the-shoulder tops that just keep riding up and down. So what I do is I take a regular hair tie with two safety pins on the end. I then attach the first safety pin at the front of the top and then attach the end safety pin at the back of the top. Make sure the garter is in between both safety pins and then you could just put your arm right through the top and wear it as usual. This way you can have the top secure no matter what you do with your arms. Another hack I like to use is how to change the strap on my bags to either make the bag look like a different bag or to lengthen the strap from going from a handbag to a shoulder bag. So I would usually take any thin headscarf or belt scarf that I have lying around and then I would just loop it through the bag hoops on either end. Then I would take both ends of the scarf, tie it together in a knot, and then pull the scarf and wear it as a shoulder bag giving it a brand new look and lengthening the strap as well. Last but not least is how you can turn your long socks into no-show socks. All you have to do is wear the sock as usual and then pull the top of the socks back out as if you're removing them but then stop right before you reach the toes. Then take the remaining fabric, flip it under your foot, and then clasp the garter on the heel of the foot. And voila! No show socks! Alright, there you guys have it. Those are some of my favorite fashion hacks that have really saved me in many situations. I hope you guys learned from some of them and if I haven't mentioned any and you know of some fashion hacks, then do let us know in the comment section down below and if we accumulate a bunch, then maybe we can make a part two of this video. Once again, if you guys like videos like this, then do give it a thumbs up so that I know to make more of them and don't forget to subscribe so that I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Why you gotta go? I just wanna know, I just wanna know now, do now. Try and get no, try and get no. Hope you freed your soul, hope you freed your soul. I might have caught the June blues. Yeah, I